Hi, today we will make a temperature test between a Galaxy Note 7 and a Galaxy S7 Edge. Both phones are Exynos variants, they have the same specs, they are both beautiful phones. So let's begin the test, but first of all, this is a small preview, as you can see the Galaxy Note 7, it's a winner. There are huge differences between the temperature. We, we will use the CPU usage, the CPU stress application is the best, I like it very much. And we will have the CPU used at full capacity. I have a little notice. The CPU application, the CPU stress application doesn't display in the Galaxy S7 Edge the CPU processor temperature. So we will use this application CPU Z for, for checking the temperature. Now you have the battery temperature. Clearly the, 7, the Galaxy S7 Edge has a higher temperature. It has 33 degrees. The Note 7 has with uh, 3 degrees less it's impressive the battery it's much cooler and now let's check the overall temperature as you can see the galaxy note 7 has 60 degrees the galaxy s7 edge has 80 degrees that's a huge difference the Galaxy Note 7, it's cool in the hand, I don't feel any heat, just a, a small warm on the back, but the metal, it's cool. In the same time, the Galaxy S7 Edge, it's very, very hot. The metal frame, it's also very hot. And the screen in the right, in the upper side, it's also hot. That's not okay. I don't understand the, the both phones have the same specifications, the same hardware. I don't know, but it seems that Galaxy Note 7 handles the temperature better than the Galaxy S7 Edge. As you can see, the battery is much cooler on the Galaxy Note 7 than the Galaxy S7 Edge. Also, the screen on the Note 7, it's cool. I don't feel any heat. On the Galaxy S7 Edge, the screen, it's more than warm. I, I could say it's hot. These are the results. Oh my God, the Galaxy Note 7 has, uh, I could say 60 degrees, while the Galaxy S7 Edge has 80 degrees overall temperature. Clearly the Galaxy Note 7 handles better the temperature. This is a final test. You can see the battery temperature. As I said, the CPU temperature doesn't uh, is not displayed on the Galaxy S7 Edge by this application, the CPU usage. I don't know why, but it seems that the, the temperature is not displayed well in real time. I believe the Galaxy Note 7 has a better cooling system because I don't feel any heat on this phone. While the S7 Edge, it's very hot in this moment. Oops, and it seems that has a problem. Maybe it's the temperature, maybe it's this application. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks.